Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Hello, Monday. It is Monday, April 9th. Can't believe it. Is that the right? I just typed in the date and I already forgot it. No, it's the 10th. Oh, yesterday was the 9th. My goodness, I can't believe it. I hope I took the right date on this video. Oh, well, I can go back and fix it. How is everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good Easter if you celebrate. Uh, let's see. Let me just say hi in the comments. Anybody shows up. And I totally don't mind if you don't come to these. Um, I expect that people are busy, especially during the midday. This is just the time that works for me. Um, so, yeah, it is um, Monday afternoon. It's beautiful out. Feels like spring is finally springing here in the Bay Area. Can't believe it after all that rain. Not that I'm complaining. We needed the rain. Um, so, yeah. And we uh, yesterday, uh, I just did a lot of cooking in the kitchen, which was fun. Made some yummy. Um, Andrew requested potato salad. And I haven't made that in a long time. So I made some potato salad for him, some macaroni salad for me. Um, some of my, well, I think it's, it's famous to me. My home um, made version of ranch dipping sauce. And I think I've made a video about that. So if I have, I'll put it in the description below. So yeah, I just had some fun in the kitchen watching baseball again. Feels good. Go Giants. Even though I have pretty low expectations for their season this year. But it's still fun to watch baseball. So uh, enough of that chit chat. Let's get to the question of the day. Because I have a couple other questions that people have been leaving in the comments that I want to answer. Because I appreciate you asking. I appreciate you watching. And so I want to respond. I'll normally leave kind of a short, you know, response in the comments, but here on the video, I'll go into a little more detail. So today's question. <laughs> Who is the most famous person you have ever met? Okay, so this is going to take me back to my um, kind of partying days, clubbing days, um, back when I lived in South Carolina, of all places, if you can imagine that, in, uh, let's see. I was 25, 26-ish, um, and I left Washington State, and then I moved to the Midwest for a little while. Washington State's where I grew up. Moved to the Midwest for a little while, and then from there met a friend, and we decided to move to uh, Aiken, South Carolina, because she was dating somebody from there. And I was like, why not? I'm not attached anywhere to anything. So I got a job there, and we lived there and had a lot of fun. And we would often, on the weekends, not every weekend, but uh, drive to Atlanta. Because Aiken was pretty much on the far west side of South Carolina, so very close to Georgia. And so we would drive to Atlanta and go clubbing. And, you know, as it happens to be, I would, you know, both Robin and I would, you know, kind of get noticed and get the attention of kind of the bar owners or club owners, people who ran the VIP sections. And this one night, um, some uh, rappers were performing. I think it was like Nelly, this is gonna be 90s. So old school R&B 90s uh, references. So I think there was Nelly, a um, couple women, and then, but the probably biggest celebrities I met there were LL Cool J and Chris Tucker. So that was pretty cool. Um, LL Cool J was very nice, which was nice because sometimes, you know, you see celebrities and, and they turn out to not be very nice people, but they were hanging out there in the VIP section. So we got to hang out up there and have some drinks and Chris Tucker was really nice too. He's, uh, I think was in the movie Rush Hour. So yeah. Those would probably be the two famous, most famous people I met. And, you know, for me anyway, you know, you think you're going to meet a famous person. I mean, now maybe if I met like Oprah or somebody super, super famous, I'd get really nervous and say something stupid. But when I've been in, in these situations of meeting famous or semi-famous people, I'm actually kind of chill. Like, I think I just instinctively, um, I just act like myself. And... I don't know. 
I have not embarrassed myself uh, in those situations, which is kind of nice. So yeah, that's, that's the answer to the question. What about you? Let me know in the comments below if you've met any famous people. Famous, you know, and famous is subjective. So, or, you know, noteworthy people that you um, have looked up to, thought was cool to meet, whatever. Um, share a story below so we can, um, yeah, we can kind of share experiences. Um, and if you have any follow-up questions about the little story I told, feel free to ask and I can expand a little bit more. But as for the other two questions that I was asked um, from some previous videos, uh, live videos. Uh, hello. My, my dear honey is saying hello in the comments. He probably knows the answer to all these questions, so he's it's not very fair. But uh, I appreciate, appreciate you being here, dear. Um, but the first question was asking about my skincare. Uh, somebody asked, they were comment, commenting on my nice fair complexion and um, asking if I have any special skincare routine or lotion routine, moisturizing. The short answer is no. <laughs> Wish I could say I did. Thank, that's why the compliment is so much more appreciated. Um, I'm very low maintenance on my skin. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I don't wear a lot of makeup aside for special occasions. Um, I don't even really wear very much sunscreen, which I probably should. Um, that's maybe a habit I should get into. Uh, but uh, I um, I don't how to say this because I don't want to say anything that doesn't it seems controversial or doesn't come out right. But I don't like putting a lot of products on my body. And yes, soap is good. It cleans. It cleanses. I get that. But if you actually read what's on a soap bottle. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of chemicals you can't pronounce. And um, so I clean to maintain hygiene and to be, um, to be, you know, sanitary clean that way. I do not feel the need to do a lot of extra uh, buffing and scraping and pinching and polishing and putting a lot of things for my skin to absorb. Now, maybe one day that will change. I don't know, but that's where I'm at right now. And I kind of save some money too because I'm not buying all those skincare products uh, that are very heavily marketed. So to the friend who asked me the question, thank you for asking. Thank you for the compliment. I really appreciate it. Soap and water. And uh, oh, and I do use, that's I have one, one thing I use. It's a, um, the CeraVe Retinol that after I shower, um, I, uh, do one little, um, swab application of that. And I think the retinol maybe help a little bit with wrinkles, but, oh, hey, Donna, maybe that was the one you were the person asking the question. So, uh, I hope I answered it for you. Okay. Um, I'm very low maintenance. Second question that I was asked was, um, how do I manage my time? And, that's an interesting one too, because the thing with productivity and time management, um, I first and foremost say everybody's different and you have to do what works for you. This is, I have a, you know, disability and chronic conditions that come with that. And so I've had to learn through trial and error to come up with time management systems that work for me. So well, what, what works for me may not work for you. But if you have any kind of similar lifestyle or restrictions or conditions, the thing that has come to work for me in the past probably four to five years consistently, even with the pandemic and everything, is a routine. So I set my activity level based on what I know my body can tolerate. So I have a wake-up time and I have a bedtime. And I have found that I front load my chores in the first part of the day because that's when I have the most physical energy. Then I typically come in the office between one and four, hence my live at four o'clock. Uh, this is the time of day I'm most um, in flow or, you know, just kind of with it creatively, mentally. And then between, I mean, 4 30, 5 o'clock, I start to wind down. I take Alton for a walk. Then we start to prepare for dinner. And then from seven until nine is family time. 
And that is time that Andrew and I spend together watching TV. I, you know, brush Alton. We do family activities, whatever it may be. And then 10 o'clock is bed. And so, you know, kind of that time chronology guides what I do when I'm able to get done. You know, some days I'm more in the office. Some days, like this past couple of weeks, I've been doing office projects. So um, I just heard a thump. I think our front door blew open. We need to get that fixed. Oh, you're welcome, Donna. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's kind of how I manage my time. I have a, a set routine. I stick to it as best I can. I allow for flexibility. I'm not a super um, list maker. I mean, I like making lists, but it's not like every day I, you know, make a list of 20 things and then totally stress out or, you know, freak out if I don't get everything done. Been there, done that. So uh, if you, um, nope, there's Andrew shutting the door. I don't know if you heard that. Thank you, dear. Uh, so yeah, if you have any other questions um, about what I talked about today or just in general, feel free to uh, ask in the comments below. And if you have any tips for time management, feel free to share, to share with the community. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel and my community, I'm Jody. I'm a 40-something uh, wife and doggy mommy who lives in the Bay Area. And I just enjoy uh, sharing my life on YouTube and, yeah, um, being part of this great community. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this and get it captioned and um, edited and thumbnail and all the things um, as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you for also chatting in the comments. We're getting there slow but sure. Bye for now. Saying bye in the comments.